oftentimes make many faces in the New York City subway. Sometimes something smells. Other times you see somebody attractive. Mm. And I met one man who makes faces using paper and scissors. I think it's immensely impressive and fascinating that he's able to just do that with scissors. This is incredible because it's, it's a mini stencil, so and he's using the scissors, it's, it's just amazing. Meet Ming Liang Lu, or Magic Ming, the only self-described facial paper portrait cutter in the world. Nobody makes artists, only me. Just me. Just um, America, just me. China, just me. I got to use Thomas Square. I see a lot of painting artists painting very bad portrait. I say, oh, you just uh, draw it, look it no nice. Maybe I cut it nice. Ming, who was born in Shanghai, started studying calligraphy with his father at five years old. Since then, he's mastered stone sculptures and stamp seal carvings. He credits his paper cutting talents to his years of art training. A lot of paper cutting artists sometimes draw it first. Draw it, something painting, a knife cut. I just, I just see it. My stick, just stick one side, two side, three side, four side. Inside, a little bit up. Ming quickly cuts portraits with black origami paper as commuters wait for their trains. The collage on his wall represents the thousands of people he's cut for 11 years on Union Square's L train platform. I love me, ah, you know, sometimes I'll be, you know, my home maybe this time we got almost got 10,000, 20,000, this uh, finished original watch. He just like captured my likeness in four minutes. I would hire him for a birthday or wedding or whatever, like that's freaking cool. I can't wait to put it, put it, get it at home try to do something bigger with it, real happy with it. Although Ming does do special events, museums love his art as well. This past year, Ming was featured at the Metropolitan Museum of Art and before that, at the American Museum of Natural History. And when Ming is not on the L train platform or in museums, he can be found sharing and teaching art at the Chinese Cultural Center and throughout New York City. I got a lot of painting students. Paper cutting students, calligraphy students. Saturday, Sunday, I got school, you got a, a class, my teach class. Sometimes like after school pro program, I teach it after school. Of course, my cameraman and I couldn't leave the platform without getting our portraits done as well. For Arts in the City, I'm Tina Beth Pina.